out of the city. Oh shit! <laughs> he said the group begins discussing what to do next when Cyril stumbles out of the building, saying, "Take my clan with you." It oh, is written shit. on the log that I sent you. That was a twist. <laughs> That's a twist. It's a twist that not even the DM expected. Uh, <laughs> That's a Shyamalan twist right there. All right. <laughs> I can roll with that. <laughs> if you want to say everybody wakes up from a fever dream. Fever dream. No, that's cool. As an after effect of the potions. <laughs> no, I remember thinking about that. I definitely don't remember going down that path, but that's cool. We can do that. That was an idea I had. Do whatever it's you an would, idea you had. Do whatever you guys want. Tough. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. Give that dog a sock already. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> she's just like, Rachel's laying on the couch and she's just barking in her face. Why? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the party, man. Trying to get some karma on Reddit. I was going to say, just take off your socks and give them to her. Ah, oh, he left. Uh -huh. Hey, Roscoe! I'm going to send him a pack of socks. <laughs> These are for Lucy. Yeah. I was going to say, Jared, you should just take off your sweaty socks and give them to her. Ugh. She'd probably like them better. Salty. My, my socks are so dope, though. I don't want to... I don't... Wait, wait, let me see. Ah, those are pretty cool. Are they these though? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I have some uh, stormtrooper ones. All right. So I'm gonna mute myself. Hold on. So we just got out of the building. Okay. As Daryl told us that we need to take his people with him. Everybody got a vision of something in their life. Fortune cookies. So fortune cookies. So Ian's the person who killed Ian's family. The necromancer is still alive. If he wants to hunt him down, uh, Berdun's people are going to be under attack here soon. Uh, Jared's on a or Jared is told about three pieces of a sword. 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 S word. Um. What else? Da, 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 uh, the necromancer oh, is still had... alive. I was told. Yeah, I, I said the necromancer is still alive. But oh, sorry, I walked away for yeah. a second. But I've, uh, uh, I knew it's aware. Was told he to be either or bad. <laughs> his future and is undefined. Tovir needs to find his own path, and then uh, he and... he. Uh, <laughs> Told Chili that his his people are still around, or something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he also told Chili to fuck off. I'm, I don't know <laughs> if that was Ben or if that was Creepy Door. <laughs> it's it's synonymous at this point in time. Uh, one and the same. <laughs> <laughs> hey Ben, do you want to reread us our fortunes? Uh, just because everyone was kind of shitty. Uh, I mean, that's pretty. That's pretty accurate. Um, I can. Uh, yeah, I can reread them. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Where is yours? Oh. Did... Burp. Uh, I'm tr I'm trying to find yours. Um, I feel like I wrote it, rewrote it, so I put it somewhere else. Maybe Wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So for you, Damon, he said. Uh, nine rings, one to rule them. Yeah, okay. yeah. saw a sword broken into three pieces, a glittering gold hilt. He saw it in a dusty green temple shrouded amongst a jungle canopy. The golden blade was sitting on a cloud. 
and the red ruby he saw on a necklace against, against contrasted against bluish gray skin underneath it. Um, da, da, da. And then for you, Chili, he said, while you are not the same bully bug you once were, the, your frog po folk are part of this world. He handed you a potion. Yeah. Said, Here you're fond of drink. This is a very special kind of grog. Drink it on a full, full moon and it will help you find your home. To Tovir, you must... <laughs> I don't even want to reread yours because you made fun of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, fuck like, you. So no, I basically it. don't know it's anything fine. new. I'm fuck off. Of you fuck you. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you didn't give me enough backstory, bitch. <laughs> Ooh, bang. Oh. Yeah, I don't have anything to go on. You're you angsty. Find your you need to way. Yeah, you need to You're figure out your angst teenager. before you. Uh, Barrister, even now, in my wakeful state. Blah, blah blah blah. I fear only vengeance will satiate you. Fortunately, such a thing is more possible than you know. And the necromancer who killed your parents is still alive. The fiend you saw stabbed to death by city guards was only uh, the husk of a man. Um, Berdun, these are dangerous times for nomadic folk, even those as strong as your tribesmen. A tide of evil trickles north, putting your people at greater and greater risk. I can see that you have seen this yourself. Beasts, fire in the forest, the last stand. That's it. Hang on. Bye, Ian. Yeah, he needed to take care of dog stuff like you did. So what are we gonna do? Let's go see. Let's go to the mountains. Go hang out with the uh, Birdians people. What do you think, Ian? What? <laughs> it's your turn. Uh, sorry, I'm checking on the dog. No, it's been kind of Leave depressed because her mom's gone. Oh, oh. Her. She's not eating. It's making me very concerned. Oh. Oh. Give her peanut butter. Yeah. Uh, she was enjoying the shit out of my steak that I made last night, but she All won't right. eat her food. Yeah, well, you spoil her now. Mm -hmm. She's like, fuck these kibbles. Mm -hmm. Well, she gets, she gets <laughs> food like that every once in a while, but she knows that the kibbles are her, her main. Yeah. She's eating them now. If you see her walk back and forth in and out of the, the laundry room, it's because she's taking a mouthful of food and bringing it to... Yeah right behind me to dump it on the floor and eat oh yeah it. that's a nervous eating thing yeah she does it all the time even when yeah, she's not no. nervous that's just how Remember she does we, it yeah yeah it's, just, it's like a scavenger habit yeah, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> so we just got out of the building and there was discussion of trying to go back up to kazan kazan kazak kazak yeah. Or staying here overnight and heading back afterwards. We're going to Kazakh, and we're not going to take this entire village. <laughs> <laughs> Blow your horn. I think we need to find Gorm Gruthrin and see what he says about going back up right now or later. Okay. I don't see how we can take an entire tribe of dwarves. And not only that, but where they would all go. We escaped Darkspawn coming down here. I think Darkspawn is a copyright. Can we not say that? Darkspawn? <laughs> what is it copyrighted by? What's a Darkspawn? Darkspawn's in uh, Dragon Age. Oh, yeah! Yeah. Ah, oh, whatever. Go. I'm gonna use it anyway. They were dark spawn. Well, we could lead a few of their clan with us wherever we go, and if we find if we Do find Kareth or Kazakh, or if we find Kareth or the dwarves up north, they certainly have magical means of teleporting. After that, do you imagine that Ragnar is going to be keen on letting his new toys go? 
I don't suspect he'll, or I don't expect him to want to move his entire people out of this place. That's for sure. I don't Given care. That... I meant more about us. Uh, Given our that he's not going to let us go easy. Given that this town itself is, uh, this village itself is separate from Kazakh, there must be entrances and exits from here. Yeah. Um, I'll put my head back into Creepy Dwarf's tent. Okay. He's passed out on the floor. Mm. Any of, does he have any servants around? Any any second command? Who is that? Uh, not in the hut. Can we go find the guy we absconded down here with? Uh, you I mean you poke your, you poke around outside? Um, there's no sign of Gorm. I mean, the only dwarves you've seen so far, like you can see, there are some like what appear to be there's some like smoke coming from certain huts and whatnot um you've the other only other doors you've seen down here are the ones kind of perched up um on some of the, like the i guess stalagmites yeah mm -hmm. uh along the way who had kind of arbalists who seemed to like guards of some sorts mm. Mm. i'll go up to a guard Oof. okay uh yeah you can you can easily find a a guard you uh there's there's some near mostly near the entrance where you guys came in yeah uh oh i got to one and say uh excuse me guard yeah more like we're on a shout up most important yeah sure yeah, yeah. We're on a most important mission are there other entrances and exits out of uh uh not Kareth. kazakhstan uh, kazakh uh he he kind of uh he looks down at you and he's like He's like other exits. He's like, uh, there are certain paths that lead out uh, through the tunnels, but they're incredibly dangerous. Yes, we're something of uh, adventurers, so the danger doesn't really bother us. Um, any that are they're less uh, watched, so to speak. He's like the. He's like, the tunnels down here, they're not watched at all. Anyone who goes down there doesn't come back. I imagine. In fact, he's like, in fact, that's where like a lot of the drow have been coming up. They fucking come up through these open tunnels and cause the battle hammer clan up top, they don't they don't send troops down here. They don't care about us. We've lost more numbers to them than we have to the jail cells. So there's no path up to the surface. He kind of like looks up. He's like, he's like, there are rumored paths out of here, but the maps are long gone. They're, they're incredibly dangerous. Hmm. But there are, there are paths that, that should lead out of here. What do you think, guys? Let's go down. I say we I go think, down a dangerous path. I think first we need to get the items that we might have purchased today, tomorrow, and warn the king of Kazakh that there's danger. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I'm just worried he'll think of us as cowards for wanting to leave. He is not... Uh... He, we don't have to tell him uh, nothing. Not about him. He seems more martial than he does uh, strategic. A good strategic that. retreat is always uh, always nice. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and maybe the dwarven clans down here will be able to survive if we convince them otherwise. Hmm. Thank you, Guard. You have been much of assistance. And I go to reach for a gold piece, and I realize I don't have any money, so I just kind of give him a, a wave. Sure. A thumbs up. Ah. <laughs> Gives you a nod. <laughs> hey, one, one more thing, Guard. When's the best time to head back up to Kazakh from now? Or from here? He he lifts up like a small device, like mechanical device. It looks kind of like a pendulum. Um, he's like, uh, he's like, uh, your best bet's about 
36 minutes from now, the guard, you, if you get lucky, the battle hammer guard will be will be changing. He won't be around then. It should be, it should be much easier. Nice. Well, we have 36 minutes to wait around. <laughs> Let's go get our gear. No, our gear is up top. In Kazakh. Um, let's... Is there any mushrooms? None yeah. that you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> let's wait 36 minutes and head up. Okay. 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 Is that what you're doing? Yes. We'll wait a bit. Head up during the change of the guard. Okay, sounds Get good. Get some sleep in our in our. In our... All right, what's your formation here? Mm, isn't um, Mr. Barrister up front like he always is with his stealthy stealths? Is he stealthy? Who is um, who is not stealthy? Who has I'm the? Gonna cast... I'm gonna I'm the most not stealthy. Whoops. But you are yeah, right. yeah perfect. Um, because chainmail's no big deal. Is that right? That's right. Um, sorry, hang on. Uh, <clears throat> no, I've got disadvantage. Because I am in yeah. yeah. Chainmail, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go in front. Not Alrighty. Super stealthy, but I'll uh I'll follow. Not wearing armor. I'll follow as well. Okay, so you guys traveling as a group, like a bu a bunch? Let's yeah. What I'd here. say we need to separate a little bit. I want to yeah. stay yeah. together. I'm going where Barry's going. I will uh tap uh Tobir on the shoulder and say uh just try to move smoothly. If you're all moving together, you're all gonna have to make a stealth check. Yeah. I'm Okay. Uh, okay. I'm, pew, pew, pew. Over here, I'm giving you a uh, bardic inspiration. Okay. I will need it. Thirteen. Okay. Although, are we in a cave? I should roll the nine. Are we in a cave? What? Are we in a cave? Yes. But I have advantage on stealth in a cave. Okay. Then roll again. I think I'm the most stealthy of all. 24. So we got an 18, a 24, a 13. No. Or no, I'm a, a 19, a 24, a 13, a 9, and a 2. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, as you guys are all kind of glumped together, moving up, um, you can... Uh, as you guys approach... Um, you can hear some some talking up ahead, um, but you can also hear that they uh, one of the, one of the guards in Dwarven is like, "So like, what was that? Have you heard that?" And you can hear uh, Barrister kind of uh, jingling his his chainmail a bit. Barrister, damn it! Yeah, Barrister. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's not look at Turning my two. Barrister. Let's just focus on his nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Somehow I get called out, but that's fine. <laughs> I I miss that. Yeah, I mean, they hear something. It is, but they yes. hear Barry. That's the official record. <laughs> sure. They hear your group. <laughs> we have the excuse of getting lost. Or we could stab them in the throat. I'd say no. Both of which I'm okay. Blame it on the drow. Throat, throat. Okay, what are you guys doing? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna oh, sneak. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna sneak to where I can see them. You're gonna sneak forward. Yeah, forward I'm gonna to take out. How many are there? Two. No, we're not taking no. out dwarven guards. I have dragon teeth, dude. I don't care. We're not fighting the dwarven guards. Not trying to make enemies with these dwarves. We're just trying to get out of here. Fine. <laughs> we we should move forward and use and say Chelsea, we got lost. You, or, shit. Are you, I'd say Damon does the talking. Chili, you should just go and like, put him in like a sleeper hold or something. 
And then you don't, you know, take them out. So you don't piss off Barry. We could all jump on them and grapple them and then tie them up. I'd rather not tie up guards in a war situation. That only begs for trouble. Uh, I can try to manifest a, s a sleeping poison. We're better at asking for forgiveness. I don't understand why we're trying to sneak out of here still. We can try let's, to talk to the... Let's just go forward then. Yeah. You go forward, dwarf. Yeah, Damon, I'll go with con you. Convince him that convince the guards that like we were that they let us in like an hour ago. I just don't remember. Yes, I can certainly do that. <laughs> it's a change of the guard. Okay. Hey, I can think... you ready? Uh... I'm gonna follow Damon then. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna Good go with Damon. Him. Lord. I would like to minor illusion just blood all over us. Uh, okay. Like we're just caked in blood. Okay. Cool. And I walk up and I say, Hail! God! Okay. Uh, you guys approach. You guys see a metal gate and you can see two dwarves, two battle hammer guards on the other side who are looking back at you with uh, flexed forearms, gripping uh, battle hammers. And they're, uh, they say, uh, who goes there? It is us, the outsiders. Our bloodlust was not satiated in the previous fight. We we struck out down these tunnels and got lost. We killed probably 20, 30, 100 drow. It Don't listen wonderful. to him. He's drunk, and make I say it like slurring as well. Okay. Ma oh God. Make a persuasion oh, check with disadvantage <laughs> due to topsy. A 23. Uh-huh. Uh, and oh, 21. 21. Okay. Who's uh, who's Topsy? Fuckers. Right, you're, Chili. You're whoever you are. <laughs> Don't die, and I won't get you confused. Um, <laughs> Don't die to doors. Yeah. Um, the guard says, uh, he's like, hey, it looks like you've been in battle, but this is a restricted area. You're not allowed down here. Ah, I, I had no idea. I'm terribly sorry. If you could uh, escort us, to, us up to the top so we uh, don't run into this uh, misunderstanding again, it yeah. would be uh, be a great kindness. He says, we have, we have specific orders not to let you guys down here. How, how did you get down here? I told hey. you, that our, our bloodlust overcame us, and we, we went searching for foes to slay, and we found them, friend. We found them. How was did, a you, tale. How did you get up. past, how did you get down to this area? I, I look back and I say, it's not working. And I'd like to cast Hypnotic Pattern at level yeah. three. I, I'm like, yo, here's what really happened. We were partying real hard. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's casting a spell. And they have to make a uh, wisdom saving throw. Okay. Of, I believe, 15? 15. Okay, hold on. Are second. you about to Jedi mind trick these fuckers? I'm about to show them a Hypnotic Pattern, and they're going to hopefully... Get lulled into a stupor, and then we can just go by. Sweet. Why didn't you do that to begin with? Hey, man, it's a it's a big spell. Yeah, burning a level two mm -hmm. spell. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Most people don't like burning their spell slots <laughs> if they don't have to. Especially when your persuasion is freaking twenty three. That that must have been like a twenty five check. Holy crap! Oh, wisdom. Okay. Okay. Right. So I'm rolling to get wisdom saving throws. Forget what? Wisdom saving throws. Of what? What am I trying to... What is the DC? A 15. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, enough roll for each of them. Yep. Okay. So this pattern flashes in the air, and it's a, a pattern of uh, like blood and violence. And uh, on a failed save, they become charmed during the duration. While charmed, they're incapacitated and have a speed of zero. All right. They... Start, they uh, both of them... Uh, their hammers uh, slam to the ground, um, just barely gripping them. Uh, the the head of the hammer fall to the ground. Their eyes uh, kind of glaze over, and they they kind of hunch forward, um, just staring and drooling slightly at you. That's our cue to move. Let's go. Okay. okay. 
There's uh, someone told her and say this. This will end shortly, friends. Is the gate is the gate open or is it closed or? It's closed, and it's. Are these the <laughs> same guards that we saw when we went in? Can I tell if they're the same guards that we saw when we went in? Oh, uh, the same. Hmm. He's got a point. <sighs> Can you tell if they're the same dwarves? Yeah. That... Are these I... the same dwarves? That a, when we came down. When we came down. Give me a perception check. There was only one dwarf when you came down. There were two doors, and there were two different yeah. dwarves on each door. Right. One was a blue cloak. The other was a red cloak. So these are two red cloaks. So at least yeah. one of them is different. Yeah. Is it? I rolled a ten. I don't know what that roll is. Okay. It's the same damn roll. It's weird. Uh, how do the gates open? There's a hand crank on the other side of the gate. Yeah, but like, do they open like this? Or do they open like this? Oh, yeah, they go up, up and down. Uh, right. Berdoon would like to try and pick it up. Okay. Can I tell if it's the same dwarves? No, you cannot tell. Can that be an athletics? Sure. Try to open up the door. Noise. Okay. Um, you got it to budge, but it, you are not able to kind of lift it up. You're able to like lift it uh, a couple inches. Tovir, can you help him? Uh, I am not super strong, but I will go in. <laughs> my best. Uh, <laughs> you surely you have fiendish strength. Uh, Barrister looks down at his arms and just like. I don't know where I would keep it. <laughs> I'm a frog. That's true. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. if I have anything that I can. How long? How long does the stupor last? It's a good question. It lasts. Oh, the spell oh, I'm ends a frog. for an affected creature if it takes any damage, or if someone uses an action to shake them out of their stupor. No, check it out. Guys, I'm going to slide underneath it, and then I'm going to open no. it up from the other side. No. You can't slide underneath it. No? No. Okay. Happy. Um, the hand crank is... Uh, is you can, like, slide your hand through the bar. Like, the, the... It's not... It's like, uh... uh I guess like a cross, cross. I don't know what you'd call that. Like a like a grid mm -hmm. of bars, and you can slide your hand through. Oh really? Um, but you can like. Does it go all the way to the roof, or does it stop? What? The gate. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. Wait, so we can we can see the hand crank on the other side? Yeah, you can. Can't... Can I? You can't... Oh, you can't... hey. Okay. Yeah, uh... Use mage hand. Yeah, Ben, I'll, yeah. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah. Um, who, who has Mage Hand? Both I do. Us. Cool. Both okay. Both. Sure. Okay. So. So Bearden's like, come on, guys. <laughs> um, yeah. So, Barry, you going to summon Mage Hand? Yeah. So, okay. I. Uh, I like, I like I... to think that, that Barrister and I both summon Mage Hand and look at each other. And then his hand goes through and operates the crank while mine just goes and pats Burdoon on the back. Crank, crank. No, his is like, <laughs> it's all one good. One of y'all works the shaft, and one of y'all. Our own hands. Yeah, I I draw just a sigil in the air with my hand, and then a hand appears on the other side of the gate and starts cranking the just hand crank. Cranking away. Yeah, I um, I'm gonna take this opportunity to try and pickpocket one of the guards for that coin purse that. The dude that escorted us over. You're on the wrong side of the gate to pickpocket anybody. I understand now. Yeah. Sorry. No worries. Um, okay. So, yeah, your uh, mage hand starts cranking away um, with great success. Uh, the the yeah. gate uh, slowly rises. Um, I'm curious, like, does the mage hand have, like, a certain amount of strength just out of curiosity? Like, is it yeah, 10 pounds? Mm -hmm. 10 pounds. Okay, yeah, it's actually pretty slow going. It's like a pretty heavy, heavy, heavy crank. Um, so it's you're like just barely able to 
uh, kind of like beads of sweater kind of pouring down your forehead as you're really having to to use all that 10 pounds of pressure um, to to crank. It actually takes, uh, uh, you know, a good five minutes. Um, but uh, with anyway, you're you're able to crank the gate open um, and you're on the other side. It would have taken two and a half minutes if there were two mage hands. <laughs> I'll assume I'll assume him fill this out thing. I'll say that's how you were able to. All okay. right. Okay. So we're on the other side. All right. Hey, do any of you guys think these are the same guards that has that coin purse from the other dude that so we can try to pickpocket them and get it back? The high Just flame guard told us that it was a changing them. of the guard. Oh yeah, you're right. Cool. Uh, I say we continue onward without a onward, hose. I. If the guard tell anybody, you could. They could just be told, or it could just be passed off that they were hallucinating. Can we like make them hold hands before we leave? You can try. Do not mess. I grab, <laughs> I grab chili before he can even think about doing that. Okay. Undo Does anybody have any booze? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, can I see that bottle, please? Do they have? Uh, do they? Do they remember? Do they remember? Uh, oh, they pour. They're gonna pour alcohol all over and make it, them think they're black. It doesn't out. say. It doesn't it say. say. No. Is, really? Because like charm. Up to your discretion. Yeah, normally the spells oh. that, that say they know they were charmed say yeah, that yeah. they were charmed. Yeah. This one has nothing on it. It literally says, you create a twisting pattern of colors that weaves through the air inside a 30-foot cube within range. The pattern appears for a moment and vanishes. Each creature in the area who sees the pattern must make a wisdom saving throw on a failed save. The creature becomes charmed oh, for the duration. While charmed, the spell, the, uh, while charmed by the spell, the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. The spell ends for an affected creature if it takes... Any damage, or somehow use, or someone uses an action to shake them out of the stupor. I'm reading like no. If it's not mentioned in the spell description, that means the target does not know. Although the DM discretion, some circumstances might allow. Uh, all right. Well, I, I'm going to assume you guys don't know, so do what you will. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take the bottle of booze from yeah. Damon. I'm going to pour a lot of it on them, and then I'm going to smash the bottle like between them so that way it seems like they don't know exactly how many bottles are there and if they try to talk to anybody then they're just gonna think they were drunk and we make them hold hands all right no. so Devilish. Hold, on, hold on so you're dousing them in liquor i'm i'm not like dousing them i'm not like <laughs> i'm just kind of like waterboarding kinda, them kind of just putting it around them uh, like okay. on their clothes and stuff on their clothes yeah to make them smell. Not not putting. I'm not dousing them in it. I'm not like dumping it on their He's face, not trying to wake them up. Right, Splashing it on their yeah. face. He's just trying to just make All them right. smell like they've been I drinking. Understand. Okay. And make them hold hands. No. No. <laughs> <He's dusty. laughs> no one handling. Uh... Are you sure? I bet you they won't I'm like. Sure. I mentioned a roll over here. I bet you they won't tell anyone else about it. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of yeah, drop their drop yeah. their pants. Chili has a point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we drop one's pants and we yeah. take the other one and put his face in his crotch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, 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 that was a joke. We don't actually leave, do that. You leave a note that's like there are pictures. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are, are drawings. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so yeah, you uh, slosh some uh, of the booze around, mostly like their feet in the ground, I'm going to say, or whatever. But um, okay, so yeah, you guys... A little on their, their shirts, like right here. So that right. way. On their armor. Yeah, whatever. Whatever right here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's... There, yeah, shoot. I guess we continue okay. on. Yeah, so I'm gonna say you guys continue on. Do you, are you guys doing the same thing? The whole. Uh, I will uh, try and persuade the, whole, the next. The whole and... group group stealth. Oh yeah. Method. Group stealth method. Go. <laughs> That's a new one. All right. 
Everyone roll stealth. Assuming you're trying to be stealthy. Yep. Aha! Tobir! Oh, oh shit. Suck. Yeah, well, that's the first one. Give me a sec. Don't get too excited. Okay. 23, oh. 18, right. 15, and what? Barrister? 10. 10? All right. Disadvantage? Stealth, All right. Yeah, that's a disadvantage. Oh. All right. Doesn't matter. One of you guys failed. So, yeah, as you guys are heading along, you hear <laughs> another guard. I had hey. a 20 on my my high roll. That's Fuck. cool, man. You were super stealthy. It definitely did not hear you. No, no, no. I had a 10. Uh, oh, for your other one? Yeah, for my, my other roll, it was All a 20. Right. Yeah, you hear a dwarf in a hushed voice, um, like, um, Royal, is that you? Yes. Is that what you say? I say to Bear Dune, say yes. I don't in know who this guy is. I'll just walk out. <laughs> My minor illusion is face to look like one of the guards that we just saw. Ooh, nice. Seriously? Yeah. His his face. To make him look like one yeah. of the... Well, can you change your whole appearance? I could change a face, probably. Yeah, well, it's his face yeah. and then, like, a mohawk and, like, a different <laughs> body. <laughs> like... <laughs> he has a mohawk. Uh, what's the limit of Minor Illusion? I think it's a... It's like a... F I think it's a 5 by 5 by 5 Let me check. I think it's uh, a 5 by 5 cube. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's five by five by five cube. Damn, that, that's all of Berdoon. <laughs> yeah. No, I think he's five six. Mm -hmm. Okay, not his feet. <laughs> Bare feet. Put him in. <laughs> make him caught. look like a red flame blade guard. Um... Yeah, and, and make him uh, look like one of the one, one of the red cloaks that we just saw. Without any shoes. With his normal shoes. Which he has none. You're talking no about shoes. minor illusion, you said? Yes. Oh, hey, I, I could do you one better than that. Barry, do you still have that necklace of illusion? Yeah, I'm currently using it. Well, um, I mean, we don't need it for you I now. I don't think that's how the spell works, dude. You could, you could, as far as I can tell, you could, you could cast an illusion of that dwarf. Mm. You can't, like, change his appearance That's disguise self okay i'll, ca I'll cast a oh i have disguise self i mean uh, barry has the self necklace on? just put the necklace on Berdoon and tell him to talk like raul what are you talking Ra about? what barry has a necklace that can make him look like whatever the fuck he wants That's not true uh <laughs> it's a necklace like, I'll, I'll, cast a, I'll cast minor illusion on him then if i can who on not minor illusion disguise self on uh you can cast Verdun. it on yourself. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, oh, shit. A, uh, yeah, it's fucking no, awesome. cast it on Verdun. It's better. Casting <laughs> <itself>. <laughs> you don't speak Dwarven. I'm the completely sober, getting... and I think this is the first time I've been completely sober this entire time, so I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, this Dwarf is getting con is, is like getting confused. He say, like, says it again. He's like, he's like, who's out there? What, is, what, was it, what was he calling for at first? Uh, he he asked if it, if Broyle was there. Royal. So you cast, cast, cast disguise self on. Yeah, I'll yourself. cast disguise self on myself as one of the other dwarves that I just saw. Oh my God. And I will walk up and say, "It is I," but like in like a dwarvish kind of tone. Uh, do you speak dwarvish? No, but that's not, why I say no, cast not, it on me. I can't cast it on. You. It's a uh, self. It's a self yeah. All right, don't say shit, dude. All right, I got so you, you. You walk up, looking I, like. Are they all? Do they all speak dwarven, or are they speaking common? Guys. Oh, that's true. They might speak guys, common. I need you guys to make a decision. So do something. I'm asking, do they normally? Are they calling out in dwarven, or are they calling out in He's common? He's speaking dwarven. Oh, yeah. Didn't hear that part. Yeah. Um. Cast minor illusion. Okay. I can't do it. And the appearance of Ra Royal, and I'll speak for him. I can't do it. You guys see a shining blue light uh, Just down, walk the, up. down the corridor. Tell them we convinced them to come down here. 
that we weren't going to pass the final checkpoint. We walked down to see what it was like, and then came back up. Yeah, or tell him we're on a secret mission from uh, the King of the Red Blades. That's a bad idea. <laughs> Just... I walk up and I, I try the same spiel as last time. Okay. I... All right. Oh. So you uh, you turn the corner uh, and find yourself. Uh, you see um, kind of a, a glowing blue um, wall that is has is like dissipated, and there's a a blue cloaked um, high flame dwarf that's just disabled the barrier. And he takes a couple steps back and puts his hand up near the. Uh, um, there's a glowing blue stone, red stone on the side of the wall, and he kind of like readies his hand, and he's like, "Who goes there?" Oh, he's a blue flame. It's not a red flame. You're fine. High flame. What uh, color is the high flame? The blue. Color. They're blue. They're blue. Oh, yeah. They're blue. He's a good guy. Uh, yeah. I walk up and I say, uh, "You." So you, so you start walking towards him. Yeah. Sure. Oh. No. Okay. Why would he do what? that? He says, "Hell." He has his hand ready on the one of the red crystals on the wall. Berdun, Berdun says. He shouts out and asks who you, who goes there. Berdun go says, on behalf of Cyril. Berdun says in Dwarvish. Well, you don't is, hold on. Hold, I don't think you you're seeing what's going on. I think I thought. Uh, Damon was walking out. Is yeah, it an Damon open was, hall or is it? Yeah, I was kind of confused also. Yeah. Right. It's a. Uh, it's kind of a white. It's like. Consider it like a winding corridor. You guys didn't see the dwarf. You heard dwarven voices. Well, how do we know it's a blue flame? You didn't until Damon just walked out and saw him. So only he knows that he's a blue flame. I'll whisper back that it's a blue flame. Oh, uh, it's a blue flame? High flame. High High flame. flame. Verdun. <laughs> Propane. Verdun in Dwarvish says... It's the outsiders. That's a good point. We got okay. lost coming down this way. He's like, oh, why didn't, why didn't you say so? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, uh, he's like, um, he's like, all right, well, get through here. Be, be careful. There's, uh, there's still people milling about and it's actually after hours. So you should be careful. Hi. Yes. There's, uh, two guards down there that are indisposed there was no going getting around it yeah He's they like, let high flames be guards what's that they let high flames be guards i'm asking him they uh For magical barriers they there's different sort, sorts of checkpoints um as you've seen since the you first came in um so they the city itself is does leverage some magic even though they uh are kind of hypocritical about it so there are they do utilize a mixture of physical and magical checkpoints um for areas hypocrites yeah yeah so we hurry on through okay and thank you hold on before you guys move on he's like it's like incapacitated. What? What? What do you? What do you mean by that? Hypnotized? Yeah, they're hypnotized. I cast a spell on them. It's harmless for merely uh, a minute. Helped them in alcohol and made them look like they're drunk on watch. If you could uh, help propagate that rumor a little bit, we also made them hold hands. We no, didn't we do didn't. that. We have much respect for the dwarves. <laughs> He's like, all right. I I hope they don't remember. I don't want to. I don't want any trouble. Yeah, if they if they remember, send them our way. We'll deal with it. Yeah, you, they I was know, gonna say you if imagine. they remember, you can say you didn't see anything. All right, he's kind of like ushering you along, like all right, all right, uh, best be best be on. Hey, we continue trying to get to our sleeping arrangements. Yeah, so you guys head for about ten minutes until you guys um, kind of come out at the lower portion of the the mushroom garden um, you guys were in. So it is curfew. Past curfew, mm -hmm. and uh, you don't see anyone around. Um, so I assume just, you guys are gonna, yeah. Just trying to sure. avoid any guards, okay? Not stealthily, but be aware of where they are, and just kind of go around where they're right. Are. 
Um, yeah, sure. Why don't you guys give me, uh, everyone, uh, give me a group stealth check and a group perception check, please. So that'll all be, I'll be doing averages for those. So let's do, yeah, stealth first, please. Oh, shit. Okay. That's okay. 13 for myself. You rolled for perception? Yeah, I rolled for perception. No problem. First. I'll just ignore that. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, mine's, uh, mine's an 11. Okay, you guys are doing... 26. 11. 13. Can you say perception? Third. Yeah, perception as well. And then perception... Here comes perception. Oh, 17. So did everyone roll for... I think, Chili, you have to roll for... Is that your... That's your stealth? Uh, I'm, I don't know how to do this, like, meta shit, so I rolled a nat 20 for stealth, and then I rolled an, a 10 for perception. Yeah, so Rip what? on Chili got a 26 so for the stealth. The first 26 for stealth. Yeah, the 1d20 plus 6 is his stealth roll. I'll roll for perception first. And, yeah, before, because I clicked the perception button before you said roll for stealth first, and then you said, don't worry, I'll ignore it. Right. So you rolled a 10, for... which is lower. Right. That's your stealth, right? No. His that's stealth is a plus 6 stealth. up top. So so he rolled a 13 initially for perception and a 6 or a 26 with a nat 20 for stealth at the very top underneath Tovier's stealth check. Okay. Do you, you see it? Yeah, I mean, it just confused if you, you don't do macros anymore or whatever. He I does. Never... It's just not. I Yeah, I had macros, macros, but click the button. Okay. All right. Whatever. I just it just confused me. That's all. Um, perception. Do do do. Hey, dear. Okay. Nat twenty plus six for stealth, and eight plus two, making a ten for perception. Okay. Um, okay. So you guys are able to uh, move along pretty stealthily enough um but more than that you're able to kind of spot um groups of guards and wait them out and uh as they're kind of moving along and you guys make it back to your uh to your rooms Sweet. safe and sound can we take a long rest awesome you may um, and i will take a rest well before you do oh no oh no roll for initiative no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but before you do, uh, you all find uh, you all find a piece of parchment waiting on each of your beds, and it has a uh, gold and red uh, ribbon, kind of uh, tie like tying tying it up. Uh oh. What? You each find a scroll on your bed with red and gold ribbon. Okay. Right on top. Okay. Is it? Was I able? Never mind. It's a stupid question. It sounded stupid. Yeah, I realized we were in a cave, and I can't drink the fucking potion to see if it's a full moon or not. I would like to open the parchment. Mm-hmm. I'll yeah. open up mine. All right. Did you guys open your scrolls? Um. You find uh, in kind of uh, glittery, like gold um, calligraphy uh, at the top, it has a title of Signature of Recruitment Regiment of a Free Company. And there's what is essentially an, an offer letter written in Dwarven uh, asking you, you guys to join Kazakh as a free company of mercenaries and there's a there's a kind of a list of different uh benefits as well as um obligations so it says you would be obligated to defend kazakh with your lives you'd be beholden to and report to uh the underkeeper and his generals directly you'd be paid 50 gold pieces per week for an initial contract period of five years and you'll be paid bonuses per battle fought Bear Dune laughs upon reading the five years. Yes, I don't like to be tied and down for five, rips. Days for five years. Uh, he thinks about ripping the the contract. Guys, 
and then realizes just... that's probably a bad idea, and then just rolls it up and sets it down. <laughs> just take their 50 gold and roll. I would not ever sign a contract with gold dwarves for five there's, years. There's... They will hold you to it. Yeah, I forgot to mention there is uh, there is a signing bonus of 150 gold pieces as well. Oh fuck! Oh. Is this a a group all or nothing thing, or do each one of us get this contract? You each mercenary. have the contract, but the the recruitment, the offer as it stands is a is an offer for your party. Yeah. Oh. So. As you understand, yeah, as you best understand it, but the uh, it is, but it does explain it that those all of those payouts are per person. Hmm. Uh, how do we sign up? What's I gotta that? go to. Uh, do I gotta go see this dude and tell him that I swore my life to Kazakhstan? <laughs> it doesn't say. Doesn't say. <laughs> you don't know how to enroll. Well, there's a there's a signature. Uh, portion oh all i have to do is sign the paper i don't have to swear in front of anyone or nothing well, huh? you don't, i mean you don't know like it's i would never trust a binding document from a dwarf you and should never trust clear, a says, signature from a bully walk serve for five years not like the contract is like like the pay rate is good for five years hmm. like like it says like we're going to be hmm. working for them for five years you'd be work. Yeah, yeah, the contract pure yeah, the contract is for a five is a five year contract. Okay. Yeah. Can we take a bio break and think sure. things over? Mm -hmm. awesome. Good. Thank you. Yeah, I'll probably be done in like 30 minutes to an hour.
Oh. <clears throat> oh. All right. I do not like five year contracts from <laughs> these dwarves. Oh my gosh. Hey, it's nothing in dwarven years. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> It's everything in a battle against the forces of evil. You don't want to play. Uh, you don't want to play this for five years. <laughs> I mean, if, you, if you're like you sign the contract, four years in, Cossack gets invaded by the demonic forces. Oh, and by the way, you did level up twice. Like, okay, <laughs> nope. no warp time. We're gonna have to grind it out. No all warp time. Years. Oh gosh. No warp time. <laughs> and I'm not gonna break a contract with these guys because that would be even worse than just declining. <laughs> Man, I want to be able to cast a spell. <laughs> Oh, you should I'm try being a barbarian sometime soon, then. Oh, really? It's about time for me to change characters, anyways. I told you, you only get this is your last life on the campaign. Are you just having mustard on top of a tortilla? No, dog. That <laughs> sort of look like. <laughs> what it looks like? One <gasps> sausage. Um, sausage. I was tortilla. like, how does he have such a low perspective of what I'm doing? And then I realized, oh, it's because my laptop's upside down. Looks good. I grilled the sausages today. Is it cold? Ugh. Mm. Oh, do you like cold sausage? What are you, a savage? Cold sausage is good. You Only if it's dwarf. summer. Sausage. No, it's H E B jalapeno sausage. Oh, baby. Louis. Louis. Hey, Louis. Boy. Hey there. Look at that loof. Oh, I saw that, Barry. What? What do you What do you got there? Basil Hayden. <laughs> Let's see that. Oh bottle. yeah, the unmarked bottle of Basil Hayden that Let's you were see writing that about last time. What you uh, got there? Oh, oh man, you got some work to do, son. Yeah. <laughs> I thought about I got... putting some into my my decanter. Let me show you. Oh shit, that's so fancy. Yeah. That's the fanciest He's decanter I've ever seen. It's fucking real lead crystal. What? Yeah. I don't know anyone else that has a decanter like that. Ben. <laughs> Stand by, I gotta that show you. That certainly sounded pointed. That was a weird inflection. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I had like a cough ish thing going on. No, not you, Michael. Michael. Yeah. I was like accusatory. <laughs> Maybe because I'm not using it. Can I show y'all what, what Ben and Phil got me for passing my oh, dissertation? I didn't get you shit. Mr. Expert Glenn, more, how many years is that? 19. 19. Wow. 19. Damn. Where's Glenn Murray from? Scotland. No. Is it a, I think what it's region? Bayside? Uh, Let's see. Um, is it? Yeah. It, Curiosity. It is, yeah, it is space side. Oh, look at that! I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 like the gambler's choice. You're like, there's like 300 distilleries in Scotland, and like 250 of them are <laughs> like Highlands, and like 200 of those are space side. So, well, fully matured oh, in a it. second fill Oloroso sherry <laughs> cask. It's okay to be jealous of my sweet giant Damn. brain. You're drinking that all, uh, quite quickly. Uh, I wasn't the only one. I helped out a little bit. Ah. Uh, but yeah. It is very smooth. Very smooth. It's very good. Yeah, the longer you age it, the smoother it gets. 19 More years. Expensive, this, I guess. this bad boy has been here since 1999 waiting for me to drink oh. it. Oh. Oh, Glenn Morangi initially owned, owned 
them, and then they sold off that distillery to a French company. Huh. Glen Murray. Glen Murray is a French very good one as well. Scotch. You just bought French Scotch. I mean, don't Glen worry. Murray. If you buy, uh, what? If you buy, let, let's see what brands there are. There's Jared. Uh, if you buy Lefroig, Balmore, Ardmore, or Alkentoshin, uh, you're buying from a uh, dog. If you buy a, anything, well, it's I'm saying about China. Well, no, that, that's those three are owned by uh, Beam Suntory. Apparently, Lefroig, Jared. Balmore, Ardmore, and Alkentoshin. Jerry, look what the boys got me. Ooh. You're passing my dissertation. Nice. Congrats. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wow. Private stock, bish. Damn. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a tasty drink. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'll be ordering some Domino's at 9 p.m. for that. <laughs> you know what I would... Actually, I'll be ordering Denny's at 4 a.m. is what happened. Oh, God. Yeah. I can't believe you guys. God damn. <laughs> I, I really want to try the Glenfiddich the IPA. Really Cask. Unbelievable. Scotch. <laughs> that sounds super tasty. Denny motherfuckers. Because <laughs> the only egg, thing that was sauce, open. Bacon. Jesus. <laughs> we had all American Grand Gen. Slams. And you guys were up before me still. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Jesus Good Christ. Times. You boys need to pony up and come to a Chi Weekend if you want to know how it gets real real. <laughs> I need to. I need to. My wife wow. was like, you're going to go hang out with people that you met on the internet? And I was like, what? I didn't. Okay, I no. I didn't know them from the internet, but yeah, it's. Be I like, know them through Ian. Do you, do you follow people on Instagram? Yeah, would you go hang out with Instagram people? I just on some good cheese plates. Yeah, I bet oh, you like. Yeah. I bet you go to a fucking MLM party, buy some candles and shit. Oh, is that like multi-line marketing? Multi-level marketing oh, pyramid yeah. schemes. It's a scam yeah. dedicated towards women. Women, yeah. In that age range. Like All right, so sense. I'm pretty sure I'm not signing this contract. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. So it's nighttime. Is wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to see bow, 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 bow. if this opportunity is available to the individual. Well, well, I want to figure well. that out. You might be hunted for life if you break it. I don't give a damn. I'm a bullywog, and who's to say I'm going to break it? You yourself? <laughs> <laughs> you did say that earlier. <laughs> Got you there. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear shit, dwarf. Wow. <laughs> I said that. I say that in dwarven. The Walder thing. I can yeah. speak it. I think you guys are in different rooms. <laughs> yeah, that is correct. But long rest. Ooh. So I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I assume you guys are long resting. Long rest. Okay. Um. You guys rest without incident. Oh, Yay! Shit. What you doing, Sadie? What? You're so soft. Oh, chill the fuck out. It's morning. The cave Where birds are chirping. Uh, bells. Ding dong, ding dong, ding work, dong. The work bells. I mean, I just recast that. Can you? Yeah, I can cast it as much as I want. So really? he casts yeah. it all the time. Yeah. Yeah, but you can just recast it until you get a four. Uh, pretty much. That doesn't sound right. As what? long as I take the time to do it. Will you, will you, um, Walk ready a, uh, blue flame blade uh, as well? I'm not feeling like this is giving me all the life I want. Whatever, I'll stick with that. Because <laughs> it's a cantrip? Yeah. Well, no, so I've got, a uh, Eldritch Invocation that allows me to cast False Life at will. It is a level one spell that I can cast at will. But you don't you burn still spell use your slot? spell slots, though. No, no, it does no. not. I cast it at will. Does not use a spell slot. There uh, must be like a per day type of thing. Fiendish vigor five e. Uh, 
It's real 5e or like the OP custom stuff? No, it's real 5e. Fiendish Vigor is a, a warlock uh, Eldritch Invocation. That's not even... Uh, yeah, I that, think you should nerf it. Like you nerf the luck. Just cause. I think you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Seems Damn. okay to me. I don't know about you. We should have a conversation about it. And you can cast all you, life like... on yourself at will as a first level spell without expending a spell That's slot a or material oh. components. That's fiendish vigor. It gives me a maximum of eight extra hit points. It's not like it's gonna be that. It's one extra hit. Uh, you can yeah. do that. It's not Especially like it really does that like a, fucking much. A twenty-five hit from a standing in the wrong area. Cool. Yeah, that cool. is true. So we just spent uh, one minute recasting fiendish or er, false life. And kept getting ones and twos. Dude, I know! <laughs> you suck. I can't get anything better than this fucking RNG, dude. Uh. Jesus. I'm sorry, did you want a one? Oh no, you wanted a two. No, you wanted a one! I, I think at that point in time, Roll20 is just trolling you. Yeah. Cool. Like, were you actually trying to roll Perception? All right, I'm satisfied. Cool. What? Yeah, you can just. What time is it? Is it? The, have... Are the shops open? Can we go get our shit? Mm hmm. Um. Yeah, the, shop, the shops are open. Yep. Let's go get our shit and fucking roll, dude. I'm tired of this place. Okay, you guys are heading to the market. Yep. To the market. The market. Uh, cool, cool, cool. So you guys head to the market. Um, I guess you're going to see Jorn. I guess I can change this fucking music since you're out of the... Yep. Can you change it to the potion shop music? Is that just like the Halfling Festival music? Yep. You're not going there, right? I don't care. Alright, fine. <laughs> yeah! So it's the market music. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> to the market. All right. It's a very festive atmosphere. Tobir, this is your quest. Uh, yeah. Are you guys are going to see Jorn? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the weapons. Tobir, pick up your shit. Yup. Yep. Yay! All right, there's lots of dwarves clapping and cheering you on. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah, you guys head in, and uh, Jordan looks. Um, you can see his kind of eyebrows raised as you guys walk in. And, uh, he looks excited to see you guys. Um, he's like, uh, he's like, hey guys, uh, didn't get a lot of sleep last night, but I, I hope you're pleased. I think you will be. Hi. What's the axe like? Uh, the axe. Uh, da, 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 da. So he, he's like, uh, he's like the axe. I've never seen a material like it. I uh, hope you don't mind the aesthetic, but I've managed to cut out certain areas, um, significantly maximize reducing the weight, uh, but still maintaining uh, a, a, a bit of a bit of heft on it. Okay. So it instead look like, of it looked like a dick. It used to be plus, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, <laughs> it used to be minus one to hit, right? And then plus one uh, damage. It used to be minus one to hit, plus two to damage. Okay. Well, now it's plus one to hit, and uh, it it's uh, it's uh, plus one damage. And how much money would that be? I think you already did. You not already pay him? Uh, no. Oh. Yeah, he used it as collateral, and yeah. he has to return his oh, shit. Battle I didn't, he give you, didn't he give you a price? Nope. I he said it. he would take a look at it to see how much it would cost. Oh, oh, really? No, he went ahead and did so. it? 
I think he. You uh, did the whole fucking like car. Me- I thought you paid. I remember people paying when they got their shit, but you. I did convinced the whole car him. Mechanic thing, like yeah, just fix whatever's broken type thing. I, I convinced him that the axe was collateral enough. Yeah, but I, I didn't we, put it. I thought it was, it, it was there was a price, and then you were like, "Oh, well, I'm gonna put the axe." Okay. Yeah, he Whoa. he gave a price for, but I can't remember that price. Because I, I gave him the axe instead. Or dude, you shouldn't have said shit. All right, well, the price is uh, 20 gold pieces. Oh, easy. Done. Cool. I'll plop down an extra 10 for the good work. Great. What the fuck? All right. <laughs> say, and return and return the other great axe. Okay. The old the rusty one. Incredible. Yep. Yeah. Boom. Awesome. Cool. To the pink chainmail. Uh, Phil, uh, I think did you already pay him? I think you did. I'm not. Um, he I, paid. Not? He paid I a little down, bit. I put down oh like yeah, you half, put down like half a quarter or something. Yeah. Yeah, you put down like half or something. But um, yeah. So upon paying him the rest, um, he gives you the set of splint mail. You can see it's kind of elongated and uh, more to form. Sweet. Um, it's uh. You can see that it's made from uh, kind of a thin kind of alloy, um, so it's it's uh, it's f- actually five pounds less than normal splint mail is. Mm. That's cool. Um, yeah. Quick random question about the axe. Yes. Because it's a stolen minotaur axe, does it count as a magical weapon? No. Okay, so it's it's it doesn't. If if anything's immune to slashing damage, it won't do anything. Correct. It's it's a normal. It's just a. It's a heavy axe made from kind of a mysterious uh, type of... Uh, Obsidian-esque. Um, yeah, like obsidian metal, exactly. But no, there's nothing magical about it. The, the real question cool. is, is Tovir going to chop around like he did with Chainmail? Is he going to chop around? Yeah, chop, is he going to be chop. loud as hell? Oh, yeah. It's uh, with Flint. Yeah. Still, just still disadvantage. I guess it's just the same. Is it just the same as chainmail? Mm-hmm. Splint mail and chainmail are the same. No, I mean, well, it's, it's stronger. Goes. Yeah, and then plate mail is like even worse, right? I think it's the same. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the same. It's oh. just it's yeah. just disadvantage. Yeah. It's just that sucks. You got oversold, dude. I'm good. I'm happy. With and it. then you can get a feat that removes that disadvantage if you choose like uh, medium armor master yeah. or heavy armor master. Oh, I think those are the name of the feats. Hey, I want to take this piece of parchment, this scroll. I'll wait for Ben. What's up? I I want to take this scroll. What scroll? The one, the one with the gold and red. My oh yeah, yeah. letter. Yeah, and I want to show it to Jorn and be like, "Yo, this showed up in our rooms," and I was wondering if uh, <clears throat> if this opportunity, yeah, who do <laughs> I talk to? To try to make this happen. Um, Jorn. Okay, Jorn what? is. Yeah, what's up? What is your strength, Tovir? I was just checking that actually. I don't even think I can <laughs> wear that. I don't even think I can wear it. No. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so what is what is the what is the strength uh, yeah, requirement? Yeah, look at that before. Fifteen. Fifteen. What's your strength? Thirteen. You can only wear chain mail. All right, uh, I'm gonna say it's because it's lighter. It's one less strength requirement. I still can't wear it. Yeah, I know. (laughs) To add insult to injury. Yeah, that's even worse. (laughs) (laughs) No, it means you're closer to wearing it. It means we're gonna level up. (sighs) If only you guys had special devices that that increased attributes. Bear Dune has one. Does it increase your strength, Bear Dude? Uh, yeah, it increases my yeah. strength modifier from a plus three to a plus four, which is. Give him the fucking bracelet for like half a half a day. Wait, Phil, which one I do you have? I, want, I have the charisma one. Mm. I have the Dex one. Uh, I see Damon's face. <laughs> give me that. No, I do it. <laughs> give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. I'm at an 18. Did you give away? Did you give away your chainmail? I I did. Yeah. I don't think I, I, don't think I would have gone. 
gone ahead with this purchase if I had known this fucking strength. For dude, me. give him the fucking. Somebody break. was drunk purchasing shit on Amazon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't fucking say on the thing until you, uh, like, I, you like, try. You put it. You put it on, it. and you like. <laughs> you have to sit down. Yeah. Bertoon's just laughing in the corner. Oh, God, oh, this is a terrible decision. Bertoon yep. unclasps his. Yes. Oh, oh Bertoon, so nice. Unclasps. Well, he got the other thing. His. What other thing. No, I don't. What? Oh. Did you get some necklace from that guy? Being nice and giving him the coin purse. What's up? No, yes, I you got. Did get a you did get something last I time. I got a necklace. The necklace yeah. was uh. Plus one attack, I think, right? Wooden plus one to attack. Yes. Yeah, you're wearing enough shit, dude. Give him the cool. bracelet for a little bit. I don't want Make it for a little bit. I, I'll, I'll be fine. Until you <laughs> level up. And then you're gonna get it back. Yeah, but that's gonna be like eight sessions from now. Especially if our DM is on the current <laughs> fuck track. Oh, fuck, right <laughs> <off>. <laughs> fuck you. So, <laughs> so Berdun removes his, removes his. Okay. Yeah, you push. Sure. Yeah, you push down on the red button, and the the Madrin, uh wires kind of snap off of your arm. Uh, revealing kind of like red marks and you hear like the gears kind of whizzing and turning as they kind of retract into the uh, the bracer. That's and it. I give it to Tomir. Um, slap it on his wrist like one of those uh, those things in the 90s that people would slap on. They're <laughs> yeah, yeah, super yeah, like that. Bracelets. They're very um, much like that. I say I don't know if I can uh, accept such a great gift give up something back i don't have just give it back to me at the end uh you have a bracer of you have a give bracer it back of to me charisma once you're strong enough to wear the mouth mal on your own give him your charisma bracelet don't be a dick no wow you are fucked up how are you a paladin yeah uh i oh, fucking a that yep. sucks yep give it to him take off the fucking bracer he just gave it to you Hmm. Yeah. Is it plus plus one to charisma? It's plus one. Yeah, it's plus one to charisma. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll, the end I'll of the swap last. it with him. That's fine. That's what I'm talking about. It took you a little bit to come to your senses, but you are a good man at heart. Good See? man. Is charisma valuable to you, Tobir? Yes. It's my my main. You can spell. wear both of them. Is that it's for paladins or just for warlock? It's, it's for uh, both, actually. The warlock and Pally are charisma yeah. oh, yeah. based. Oh, interesting. Okay. I, I I tell him to keep the other one. Yay! He gets to keep them both in BOP. The, um, I'm trying to figure out when I level up to get another point of strength. Yeah. Is it six? It's at oh, yeah. level six. Yeah, next step. Oh, yeah, That's your next level. No, it's ah. not. What do you? Oh, it's not, what do you mean? I'm a bully wonk monk not, five. Not six? No. no, I because think because he's triple class. Just... Triple class. Oh my god, oh. you are dumb. You're triple <laughs> class. Several arts degree. <laughs> this is what you get. This is what you fucking get. Then you end up no, stealing bracelets is, from other people. The, this is the only thing that I get is that I didn't know that it had a fucking require a strength requirement. Well, now right. you have the strength. We're good yeah, to go. Maybe we'll find another bracer of strength along right. the way. I, say, I was thanks. planning on taking an extra feet, uh, an extra point of strength anyway. So you know what I'm. Uh, I say thanks, and I'll I'll uh, I'll find a way to pay you back someday. That's it. Hi. What else you got, Tobir? Nothing. I'm no, keeping bullshit. it in my inventory, but it's listed as currently given to Tovier. Okay. So yeah, that's even better. <laughs> About Chili, Chili's fucking... rifling around in your sack looking for I'm, an I'm rifling around his D&D Beyond right now to see what he's got in his fucking <laughs> You don't have dick in here, do you? No, I told you I don't. And then, um, laughing, I hand it to him and see him stand up finally after finally, putting yeah. it on. <laughs> he's like, I'm good now. <laughs> Steroids. <laughs> well... Should we, uh, where should we head now? 
to well, the mountains. We should head and talk to uh, the head man in charge. Ragnar. I imagine uh, the conversation won't go as we we think. I don't think he's going to let us uh, go. Can I have my little recruitment we moment are, with Jorn? I'm just saying. Cold. Jorn is an iron breaker. And he, yeah, you ask him about the parchment and he's like, he like glances at it and he's like, it's like, I'm sure I wouldn't know anything about this. I'm, I know a lot about crafting. He's like, what, okay, do, you, I, what do you want to know exactly? Nothing. Cool. Yeah. Read to you what it says. <laughs> yeah, like he speaks dwarvish. Like I mean, he can read it. I don't. Know. I can speak dwarvish too. Fuck. Well, then he looks confused. Yeah, he's confused. He's like, yeah. hands it back to you. I say, do you have any bagpipes? Uh, no. There was a big bagpipe sale two days ago, and they all got sold out. Hmm. Maybe I'll find one on Craigslist. Yeah. Do you have any grapes? Do you have any grapes? <laughs> <laughs> they did surgery on a grape chili got any grapes oh we just sell lemonade face the uh yeah. meet the got maker glue? let's you guys, go you guys can do whatever you want <laughs> we so head, we I'm head gonna, to Ragnar yeah head. we're gonna head to Ragnar yeah Okay. I, I, I in the morning I picked up my scroll. You picked up your scroll. The, okay. The the contract. Alrighty. Yeah, I've got mine in my pocket as well. We all have it. It was really right. fancy. We don't feel like throwing it away. All right. So you guys head down uh, to the kind of barracks area. Um, I'll assume you kind of like hail some guards or, or something, uh, or ask to to see Ragnar, and they escort you and kind of. Um, you you kind of hit the couple checkpoints you're used to, and you get to the walk down the familiar steps. I'm gonna turn off this music. No, <laughs> please. Oh, well, please. It's not really, you're the half. I love it. It's not appropriate. It's been going for far too long. Just not appropriate. Um. All right, so yeah, you guys, um, you guys, you guys are walked down. You uh, get to the steps to his uh, office, and um, you can see the two uh, kind of king's guard um, make golden helmets with these like wings on top. Um, then they uh, they pull back their uh, what are kind of like short halberds, and um, you are let inside. This time around, uh, Ragnar is is kind of busy, uh, like writing uh, on his desk. So he's like filling out uh, some, some paperwork, and uh, he uh, kind of ushers you guys in. And he's, uh, as you've seen him before <laughs> at the beginning of your discussions, he's like excited to see you guys. He's like, he's like, come on in. He's like, he's like, how'd you sleep? Pretty good, given the circumstances of what we had to think over. He's like, I all right. I, I'll take that as I'll take that as good news. What do What do you What do you think? Pretty generous offer, huh? It's uh, mighty generous, but I myself can't, as a wanderer, can't physically stay in one place for too long. I hope you understand that my clan isn't one for settling down for any given amount of time. Okay, he's like stands up and uh, clasps his hands behind his back and he just he just kind of stares at you. Uh, glorious. <laughs> Powerful, Ragnar. Uh, we do not mean any insult by having to uh, decline your offer. We are all beyond flattered uh, by the uh, generosity that you've shown and truly we appreciate it, but uh, we have duties that call elsewhere. He says, uh, "says your duty is here in Kazakh. We saved you out there. You signed documents that essentially make you Kazakh citizens. We need your help here. You've proven yourselves. We've offered to pay you good gold. Many a dwarf would be lucky to get such an offer. 
Ragnar, what do you know about the end of the world? The gloom. I, I know that if we, we stand any kind of chance, it's to defend this city. And I will do so with my life. What if I told you the defense of your city, the key to it, lies up there? You sound like those high flame goofballs. <laughs> We've seen what's out there. Is that a dwarvish term? Ragnar, <laughs> the threat that threatens the surface does not stop at the surface. You are threatened by it as well, and it is our task <laughs> to end that threat. So we cannot stay here. Your place is here with your people, but we cannot stay. You will stay. We will not. I am down. What he's trying to say, Ragnar, is <laughs> we will we will not certainly yeah. come back, but we can cut through this dark heart, rip it out, and assure the safety of your people. I look at Ragnar and I go, listen, man, my group's not in on this, but if you need an assassin, like I've got really good advantage with stealth and if anyone else saw me at that dagger throwing contest just ask i can like throw a dagger and anyone's Dragling. throat yeah i've got these dragon teeth and i'm ready to party so okay. make me an offer he's turning red he's like as you've seen him before he's like he's like he's like go get out of here take some time think this over i know you'll make the right decision Ragnar, if we stay here, that doesn't make sense. we're all destined to die. We have to go cut this evil out from the source. We cannot stay here. There's no decision to make. We've seen the armies of the Abyss. No amount of warriors defending Kara or defending Kazak could defend against those once they get through. The best we chance at survival for the whole world is finding the source. And staving it off there. I've been charged with the defense of the city. In my word. And we've final. been charged with the defense of the whole world. Press the digitation sparks. <laughs> I want to throw an apple in the air from my suit, my food pack, and take out a dragon's teeth and then throw it and hit it in the apple and I go, sign me the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to do a whole episode on getting you out of jail, dude. <laughs> You're going to send me to jail for that? <laughs> Tight quarters, man. With Don't fuck up with this guy. Okay. It's a performance. It's not... I'm not, not throwing a... it at anyone. <laughs> you were throwing a javelin in his office. Okay. <laughs> and then I said, sign me up, which is what he wants. And it's at an apple, like way far away. <laughs> oh my God. I hate you so much. He should right. be happy. Roll, roll the hit. Is it not a performance check? No. Or a dex gonna, check? It's going to be a, like a dex check, like a ranged attack. Roger that. <laughs> you miss critically and nope. you hit him. Not on the important <laughs> shit. Never. All right, cool. Not on the stupid useless shit. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you whip a javelin at an <clears throat> apple. It pierces the apple and sinks into uh, a, a portrait on the on the wall. <laughs> yep. I knew it. No matter what, I could have rolled a fucking nat twenty. I'm gonna piss this guy off. <laughs> All right. He right in between the eyes. He 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 just fucking loses it. He throw he like throws all the stuff off his table and he's like he's like get the fuck out of here. <laughs> You're gonna get cuff on my carpets. <laughs> <laughs> you get the fuck out of here. I take the javelin down and I take a bite out of the apple and I'm like right. that was your chance, bitch. I'm already leaving and uh Yeah, he's I just say screaming like dwarven uh swears and he's just like uh, like throwing shit off his desk at the walls. While I, I'm I, at it, this is the way every conversation has ended. I think 
We need to go visit the potion shop for some potions. All right, I'll think about it, and I walk out. Uh, I'd like to like <laughs> bow as, as a way of ducking out of the way of some things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. As you bow, you like duck, and a goblet soars over your head. I was gonna say, Ertun just like gets pelted with it. He doesn't give a shit. It is painful to leave your presence, your grace, but we will give you time. And I turn and walk out. Okay. And then as 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 we're far enough away, and it's like, there's an old saying in my clan, a tree that doesn't bend with the wind eventually gets broken and or eventually gets torn down. Say, yeah, well, that fucker's about to snap. He hasn't seen a tree in his life. Hmm. Oh, you have a good point. <laughs> <laughs> so how do we leave the city without drawing the ire of... I'd say we... Uh, Go and peruse some more wares at the uh, the apothecary's shop. Whatever that shop is. Lead on, I have not the gold or anything. So I go to the shop that um, that we went into last yes, yesterday mm -hmm. afternoon with the high flame. Yeah. Dude, I walk in. It does, is, is Gorm Guthrin there at all? Uh, it's not Gorm, it's the first guy you, uh, ran into. Uh, and that's third. so funny. You shit on yourself, Ian, or what? No, I think my dog just shat herself. <laughs> really? She's like laying under my desk and it just fucking smells like shit. <laughs> God. Damn it, you don't have to lie to anyone here, dude. We're in separate oh places. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she. Ooh. I bet she. She's so sad. Her owner's gone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm the bard. I'm supposed to be the dramatic one. We're not eating. <laughs> yeah, she. She can really work one up. Mm hmm. I'm gonna take this opportunity to get a beer. Okay. I got like 15 more minutes. Okay. <sighs> played a fair bit of Age of Empires 2 over the weekend. Nice. Yeah. It's a fun one. Good God. I went and got a candle because... She's back. That was a... Did she poop was... underneath the desk? No, she didn't, but she farted and it smelled like it. God, Sadie, that was gross. You lucky you're so soft. She's like, I stress fart. Don't worry about me. Come here. Come on up. Come on up, Sadie. You got a hair in your eye. You did. You can go. Good, good girl. So what's what's the shopkeeper's name? Oh yeah, it's Frankor. Frankor. Uh, Frankor is the first dwarf you talk to here, who. Frankor. 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 Frankor is bald, round dwarf, with a blue and red cloak that drags on the floor as he shuffles about, restocking potions on the set shelves which line the walls.
So he was the first guy who was like on the ladder, like yeah, sliding around. Okay. <clears throat> This is nice music. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you. So relaxing. <laughs> Who are we missing? Jared. Yep. Roll in for practice there. Yep. <laughs> Roll sure. all those 20s now. Yeah, get them out of the way. Yeah, like you got all the ones out of the way when you were trying to roll for health. Yeah, right? Huh? <laughs> oh. It's a nice beard, Ben. Thank you. I should grow a beard. Yeah. Should. I just can't stand it, dude. Oh, yeah. I always said that before. This is the first beard I've ever had. It's like, I don't know, just 10 years of army training. It's like, what the fuck? You look like a homeless person. Yeah. Why are we going to the potion shop? To get potions? We walked into the potion shop to get potions. He, let's just keep going. He's not going to do anything here. Oh, okay. I think. Oh, I think. Evan. Yes? Finish your statement. I think he will be helpful in the ways that Beardoon wants him to be helpful. All right, sounds good. I'm going to go with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, so, look at that. walking into the potions shop, Verdun turns to the guys, or turns to uh, Frangor, who he did not see before, but Chili did. Oh, oh, that's true. And goes, Friend, my uh, compatriots said you were very helpful in Help or very helpful to him when he went in, came in yesterday. I was coming in to wonder if we could uh, peruse your wares some more, and mayhaps uh, speak to the owner later. I also say he's good people. He's with me. Also, why is the music not a potion shop music? That's true, technically. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's coming. There we go. Barry, this is your people. This is, your, this is uh, Barry, Barrister's theme song. <laughs> like, this is his like uh, intimidation music. Yeah, it's a it's a tiefling paradise music. Where are they taking them? <laughs> Where are they? I mean, um, okay, I, so I'm pretty good at intimidation. I don't, I don't tiefling guess. festival. Yeah, so Fr Frangor, uh, Frangor is like the owner doesn't work here. Oh, I, sorry. Uh, we we had met up with a. Uh, or what's his is, name? Gr is there anyone Gr else in the room? Is there like, anyone else in the room? Yeah, that he's like not being honest with us with because like, you know, is there anyone I, else listening? Uh, no, there's nobody else in here. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed a mistake. And we, we had accidentally met up with uh, Gorm Gruthrin last night at the tavern. 
Ah, Gorm, of course. What can Just, I do for you? Well, we were looking to uh, continue our arrangement from yesterday uh, with some purchases that we're planning on making. Uh, but he's not here right now. When can we come back? Gorm will be working the afternoon shift uh, per usual. So he should be on in about five hours from now. Uh, thank cool. you very much. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I uh, go over to him and I'm like, yo, man, you really helped us out. We were able to meet Cyril. He's a super cool dude. Okay. You. He starts kind of like wringing his hands, like looking around nervously, but he's like, uh, well, I'm glad it worked. I'm glad it worked out. Mm -hmm. We're trying to talk to Gorm so we can continue our discussion. Where can we go find him? Gorm? Yeah. Gorm's at his home right now, I assume. He lives down in the caves. Uh, are we in the caves? No, no. that's... The caves where we just were. Yeah, the high flame caves. I cabin. understand. All right. Yeah, cool. yeah he says uh, Gorm will be back in about four hours when his oh. show starts. While we're on the topic, we were looking huh? for like a really sneaky way out of here. Maybe you could help us out with that. Way out? Why would you want to get out? It's part of our uh, mission that we got from the... A few oh, of us would like to visit home again. Some others are looking for... Yeah, we talked to that like crazy guy who, who's put smoke in the air and what, what the fuck was his name guys Cyril Shh. yeah we spoke to Cyril he gave us a bunch of stuff is I there think... anybody else in the shop there's not right now okay yeah. yeah yeah and he gave us a bunch of information that we have to follow up on and we're looking for a super secret way out of here uh, way out. also we pissed off the red guards so well, they are dicks. They are super <laughs> dicks, dude. Especially that like macho one at the top. I threw a javelin that you sold to me into a portrait with an apple, and then I ate it, and I was like, get fucked. Okay, he gives you a hearty laugh. Is, uh, I would I would pay good gold to see that. <laughs> I bet he turned as red as that apple. Yes, he did. <laughs> That's him, all right. Yeah. <laughs> um, as far as Eddie. super sneaky ways out of here, I don't know what I could tell you. I really only know of the sort of main entrance area, heavily guarded up top. I assume that's where you came from. And then there are more like rumors and myths about some of the caverns that lead uh, deep up, down, and then up into the mountain um that lead out of here but they're uh, known to be very dangerous there's there's stories and whatnot that they would tell us as children to scare us to go to sleep but they're not explored i see or well understood but they uh rumor but has anyone... it but they will lead you out guys i think that we should take one of these routes out it doesn't look like there's a bunch of other options do you know of any dwarf that has uh, been down these caves and come back to tell the tale? One that could possibly guide us? He's like, that's an interesting question. He's like, I I don't myself. Um, I would assume if anybody did, it would be, be Cyril. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably be arrested today. I mean, today. he's like the elder. I don't know. Why would he be arrested today? Because of what happened? We were Last in night? safe town. We were in the caves. No one saw shit. Look, guys, I can make myself invisible. Run down there real quick. Uh, well, my check it out. Talk to, I'm, talk gonna, to I'm going with him. I can go by myself real no. quick. Run right back. Uh, you can't turn invisible, Chili, so you fuck up the whole plan if you do. Bullshit. <laughs> I got advantage. I'm the stealthy one out here. Advantage and you know how I roll when it comes to... We still hey. need another dwarf to come with us to get through the gates. I can speak dwarven. 
Chili, you're not gonna help me by going. Mm-hmm. Has he ever helped? <laughs> That's uh, when it matters. <laughs> point. Oh yeah, you really came in clutch with that apple throw. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> got the group out of a good pinch there. <laughs> Or that time you made Burdoon eat charmed food. <laughs> really helped there. That wasn't me. Ah, that's right. It wasn't chili. That's right. Yeah, was, was I get to point. wash my hands of all of that shit. Hmm. And Cosmo. No, you took all of his uh, memories, remember? So basically still the same person. <laughs> what if we went back to Ragnar, convinced him to send us down into one of these tunnels... We, hmm. That is not going to happen. Yeah, uh, I say we the, take his gold the, roll. The Frankor looks a little uncomfortable with you guys like plotting and scheming in like his potion shop. He's like, he's like, he's like I'm not sure I quite understand what you're trying to do, but what what, what can I help you with? Getting the fuck out. <laughs> we just I'm want to leave off. this town. I've already pissed one dwarf's husband off. We got Ragnar. Yeah, Ragnar. Did you know that? He totally banged this one guy's wife. Hey, 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 hey. Can you believe it? We uh, want to Ragnar. get going. So that we yeah. could help both. Or so we could help Kazakh and the High Flames. He's like, By taking yeah. care of the evil at the root. He's like, yeah, I, I only know of two ways out of Kazakh. The first way is up top, and right. the second is through the Dunnos. Mm-hmm. Listen, friend, you've been good to us. You've helped us out. Mm-hmm. There will be destruction and ruin coming to this town. I suggest you do the same uh, and leave. Sir, so ask for us to help the High Flames out. Drunkenly. We don't whatever, know, if you know what you're saying, but... Whatever tunnel we go through... You guys can follow. And once you get out, head north towards where the Grey Hunters are. He looks uh, pretty kind of shaken by what you're saying. He's like, he's like, leave, leave Kazakh. It's leave or die. When the terms are set forth like that, you really have one option. Rally your people. We'll punch a hole through the tunnel, leave nothing in our wake, and you follow through. Simple. Got it. Okay. Make a uh, make a persuasion check. Twenty nine. Okay. Oh. Like, he's like he's like. Well, I I suppose if it that much relies on it, but I uh, have to take my family, of course. Of course, Obviously. we'll make it safe for your family. We'll pull Cut down every fiend, devil, demon, hell that stands in the way. You can trust me, friend. How big is your family? <laughs> Be sure to warn the other high flames in the sea. There's a litter. There's a litter. <laughs> a litter. <laughs> Any daughters? <laughs> Damn it. No, he has five, five boys. Even boy. better. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, thank you for your service, Frangor. We will leave you to tending your shop and rallying your people. He's like, what of? He's like, what of this evacuation? What, 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 what is the plan here? We when are going to talk with Cyril later tonight and figure out what to do. Okay. Yeah, he looks thoroughly freaked out. You can see like the blood kind of like drained from his 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 face. He... That's well, we did our job. Let's go. It'll be all right. You have a mighty fine clan leader at your head, or you have okay. a mighty fine clan leader. Um, and so we uh, pass, or I'm going to pass the time um, in the yeah. mushroom forest, communing with nature. Okay. 
The rest of you guys? I want to fuck around with this poisoner's kit. Um, okay. I have a glowing mushroom and a vial of poison smoke. What? A vial of smoke from Serral High Flame. Oh yeah, he captured some of the... Yeah, you may not remember it, but it happened. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> yeah, sure, okay. I would like to uh, look through the contents of the Poisoner's Kit and try to craft a amateur poison. Okay. Using those reagents and whatever else, the chemicals that are in there. Okay. Um... I'm gonna do this in the mushroom garden with Burdoon. I'm just sitting there. Think, what, like a crafting check or something? If Chili, if ch it'll probably be an intelligence check. Oh, pro proficiency with this kit lets you add proficiency bonus. Uh, Insight. Uh, tags utility. <laughs> Nature, medicine. Hmm. It's very much up to the DM as to what I know, happens. I'm just... Herbalism kits... Yeah, we'll say, uh... I'll let you use uh, either a nature or a medicine check, either. I'll do a medicine check, then. Okay. I'll be, Speak uh... If Chili comes to sit down next to me with the the, the kit, Verdun <laughs> gets up and walks like 20 feet off and sits back down. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. This continues for four hours. Age <laughs> <laughs> two exhaustion. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what I'm gonna do, Ben, is I'm gonna take this vial that has the smoke in it. Yeah. And I'm gonna take a glowing mushroom, and I have like all the chemicals from the poisoner's kit lined up. And I'm going to open the chemicals, and then I'm going to quickly open the vial of poison smoke upside down, right? So yeah. that way the air doesn't go up. Yeah. Enter the chemical, do one of these things, and then close. And then move to the glowing mushroom at the last second, open, and drop the glowing mushroom in there. Okay, got it. Roll, Doing one, roll. one medicine check. Damn it! What the fuck? But I can't do this. I'm gonna crank go. this music for good luck. Twenty-one. <laughs> uh. Ooh. That was loud. <laughs> when it matters. Uh. Okay. You've crafted some. I mean, you don't know what it is, does yet, but you have uh, you've crafted some paste. Excellent. Unknown paste. Yeah. Ask DM, you have acquired ask unknown DM paste. for effect when used. <laughs> Sounds good. I um, will take out not one of the dragon's teeth, but a dagger, okay. and uh, touch the paste to the tip of the dagger. <laughs> Look okay. at Ian. He got poisoned just now. <laughs> yeah, she misses her owner so much. She doesn't need any food that she can wreck shop in your bedroom. I've never had gas like this before. <laughs> it's it's the freaking steak, man. Maybe she's had yeah. steak before. She never had gas like this from eating it though. And uh, I'm going to find a. Uh, is there like a not a uh, like a plant or? Uh, an insect or like a something crawling along in the area of the mushroom garden a squirrel perhaps no there's definitely not any thing like that down here is there a mushroom in the mushroom garden there's some mushrooms <laughs> why don't you go take it to the fucking potion master that's a great idea yeah i know <laughs> i can't help myself <laughs> I, I can't sit here and on that <laughs> I'm going to the potion master. Yeah, great idea. <laughs> Where did you ever come up with that idea, Mike? Yeah. And I'm gonna go talk Jesus to him and by myself. Him. By the way, no other. Spared myself 20 minutes of you like <laughs> squash insects and 
<laughs> and I go, hey, thanks for selling me this poisoner's kit. Is there anyone else in the room? There are some people here. Oh fuck. It's okay. You can. What do you What are you doing? I'm gonna pretend to peruse until they leave. Okay. Hour and a half goes, but no, that's fine. <laughs> Have they left? Sure. Okay. Yo, I know it's a bit taboo for you to sell me this poisoner's kit, uh, but thanks. I made this. What can you tell me about it? Uh, he. God damn fruit flies. It's too um, he uh, he takes he he takes the paste, and he's like. Uh, he uh, he he kind of like uh, takes it from you and kind of slides it under his desk, and you can see him kind of um, like putting putting some pulling something like liquid from a dropper, um, dropping it on there, um, and he he instructs you to use that you've created sort of a, so a bit pretty basic uh, poison with most of the ingredients uh, that came with the kit, but then also. Um, a glowing mushroom and a vial of poison smoke. Yeah, the smoke didn't do shit. He tells you, uh, but the mushroom uh, does add a little something. So you have um, you have a poison that does one d four plus one d four poison damage when applied to an uh, a thing. When applied to a weapon, if it's ingested, it does uh, it does four times that damage. Excellent. I thank him for his time, and I toss him one gold for his services. Okay, he accepts it. Um, and then you, your poisoner's kit, uh, we'll say it has like ten charges on it. Okay. Um, so it's like down to nine out of ten. Roger that. How's that sound? Perfect. And you have enough poison for, let's say, uh, four applications. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to place the poison from the paste into one of the vials and carry it with me. You're placing the paste into one of the vials. Okay, sure. Yeah, so that way I can carry it with me. Okay. Don't put it up your butt. <laughs> it's not going up mine. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Good news. It's Ooh. a suppository. <laughs> cool. You did a thing. Hey. Uh, yeah, Evan, you got to drop off? No, uh, I, I, yeah, it's about time for me to go to bed. Okay. Um, let's, uh, before you wrap, um, we'll say, let's just get to this part here. So the, um, we'll say Gorm, uh, comes back inside, uh, and you guys, um, head back into the shop as Gorm is, has kind of started his shift, you, you, you've been watching and you saw him kind of go in after a few minutes, you guys head in there to see him. And he just kind of stares at you from over the desk, uh, knowingly. Who's taking the lead here? Tovir, please speak. The leopard dune do it. Walking in. Verdun nods to Gorm and, be, and says, Hello again. Hi. We were able to uh, get to sleep without much trouble last night after the news that you, were, you gave us, but are willing to uh, try again this time for good. What, what can I do for you? Uh, the potions that we had talked about last night. Uh, we'd like to go all in on them. All in on them. I don't remember. Okay, Evan, are you... Verdun's not smart. He's trying to talk in code. He can't yeah. fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's happening right now? You confuse the shit out of me, man. Well, everyone's confused. Gorm, Gorm. Yeah. I was like going to break character for that one. <laughs> like, uh... Gorm I... is like, this you... thing was I drunk? It's like you'd like some potions? All... After our dis... And, and he looks around. Uh, is there anybody in the room? No, there's not. After our discussions with Cyril last night, 
we have a full night's rest behind us and are willing to go back down and help the high flames. Um, he kind of looks around and he says, um, um, I take it that'll be five potions of giant strength then. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, he, he kind of looks around, kind of like peeking his head out like one of the circular uh, windows just to see if, make sure there's nobody kind of close by. Um, and he shuffles around in one of the cabinets and um, slides a uh, kind of like a, like a, almost like a velvet pouch across the table uh, that has some clinking vials in it. And he says, uh, yeah, he's like, same same deals last night i'll see you i'll see you after uh just before curfew sounds good okay all right we can end on that note then sweet fun times fun times happen just gonna get real <laughs> oh boy all right cool Yay. um yeah, so we're good for next Monday. Um, All good for next Monday. Sweet. Sweet. All right. Good times. Fun playing with you guys. See you later. All right. Sorry, I, I need to sign off early today. No, That's it's okay. okay. No I, have to, I have to go, too. That sounds good. Bye. Bye. All right. Later. Oh, Phil, you want to?